Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and today's events I wish I could take full credit for, uh, but uh, that would not be true. Uh, today's events are the result of an idea that Sparky Santos had, one of my subscribers, and a genuinely awesome and wonderful person who has sent me so many cool things. Yeah, he came up with this idea of me to do a blaster giveaway, a, a mod work day, and a blaster giveaway for some younger local nerfers to get them interested in the hobby, get them started, get them some decent blasters at least, or at least we're gonna try. Um, and so he sent me some blasters to do the giveaway with, and then I had to track down some small children, which I, did, I didn't know any. Uh, but luckily I had friends who had friends who had small children. So, uh, we were able to find some volunteers. Uh, I mean, they ended up picking up a third one, uh, kind of last minute, which is cool. Um, so I, I supplemented the blasters that Sparky Santos gave me. And that's what's going to happen today. We're going to do some very, very basic mods, a very simple um, spring upgrade. Actually, really not um, uh, not exactly a spring upgrade, but the very simple, easy kind of beginner mods that uh, anybody should be able to manage, and possibly some motor upgrades to some of the blasters. We will see how that goes. Uh, and probably some painting. Uh, there will also be pizza, there will be Lego, there will be all sorts of frivolities going on today. It's going to be fabulous. So these are the blasters that we have... <laughs> for this event. Sparky sent the Rebel Blasters. He sent two Sweet Destinies and two Rapid Reds, um, which are fabulous blasters, great for modification. And then I've also supplied two Strifes and two Hammer Shots, so they can then pick and choose which ones they want because they're very different um, cosmetically. Um, any of them can get painted, so colors shouldn't be an issue, but we'll see what people think about that. Um, for the Hammer Shots, we'll be doing a simple Bolt mod, um, adding a bolt to uh, tighten up the spring a little bit. Um, definitely a good early mod. Should definitely be followed up later by a proper spring mod uh, and probably a cylinder upgrade. Um, and then we are going to be possibly doing um, Honey Badger motor upgrades to the Strife since that doesn't require nearly as much work uh, because the voltage is low enough that you really don't need to rewire. Um, again, something that you should definitely look into in the future, moving up to you know, uh, possibly stronger motors and possibly uh, doing all the rewiring and all the reswitching and all of that. Um, but since these are young kids and this is a beginning thing, we're going to start with the simplest stuff possible. Um, I do need batteries. I may have to run out and grab batteries really quick, which is going to be cutting it short. But uh, they should be here soon. Uh, one of them had actually been here before. They came to a mod party, but just kind of stood in the corner, corner in awe at all of us YouTube celebrities. Uh, and uh, we gave him a handful of blasters and sent him on his way. And the other one has no idea where they're going, which should be really fun when they walk into my shop and see it for the first time. So, uh, I'm going to go hopefully grab batteries before they get here, and uh, further bulletins as events warrant. The crisis has been averted, batteries have been acquired, now we wait for small children. They're running late. I've run out of things to clean. Come in. Aha! Uh -huh. You made it. Yes. That's a required. That's our required. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I brought mine. Well, no, he's got it right I have a, I have two. Well, now you get a blue one. <laughs> Matches your shorts. Cover up your hair. I get a hat too. Sent me a dozen, so someone's got one. Oh. <laughs> so, here's what's going to be happening. You get to pick one of these and one of these, and we're going to mod them, and we're going to paint them. Oh. Going wrong direction. Oh. I hear people. Come in! Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Captain Xavier. Nice to meet you. And my daughter Ashlyn. Nice to meet you. And today we are going to be modifying Nerf blasters. So. <laughs> now you understand why I said you've tried it twice. Yeah. They didn't know what they were doing. Ah. Well. They tried to guess all morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, step over here first because you get to pick which blasters you are going to be modifying. Okay. This have... is Lucas. Yes, this Hi. is Lucas. By the way. Hello. Everyone is required to wear hats. Okay. okay. I'm fine with that. You're gonna have to. Ah, oh, in the rules. Oh, good. It even matches my shirt. Other way. Okay. So, 
these are the blaster options. You get one of these, and you get one of these. You get to pick which ones. Uh, we are going to be painting them, so don't worry about the colors. These ones, um, since they have such a smooth shell, they paint up really well. You can do stencils on them, all sorts of stuff. These ones are a little more difficult to paint because of how angular they are. But uh, we also have two holsters. So pick which blasters you want. Like I said, one of these, one of those. Very good. I'm going to do this one. Excellent. One of these. Okay. And one of this. Excellent. Okay. So we have a little bit of everything. Like they should come apart, but they unfortunately do solvent weld it all together so it doesn't. So you get to do a more challenging technique. Which means either you have to paint the whole thing, or we have to use masking tape and cover the part you don't want to paint. Which I will not lie, is a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the whole process. Waiting for paint to dry. So, luckily, we have two blasters that you get to work on your cycle. Okay, I'll get a strike. You want to do a strike? Now, that rattling noise is why people usually replace. The, the, the cage and the wheels because with higher quality stuff you can bring the noise down um, but with that noise it's very <laughs> it does cut down on the skeleton though you, you rev it up and they're like wait whoa 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 wait a minute <laughs> hey I've rethought my position this That's thing not has been we're recording for. for one hour and fifty six minutes This thing has been HPV. recording for three hours. Won't let you... The tape is refusing to, to do Star Stable. The tape is just refusing. You can't make me do it. Yes, I can. Are we getting stencils on both of our nerves? We will put stencils on anything you want stencils on. Of all the dangerous sports that I've done, I did fencing for years and people have died doing Olympic fencing. I did medieval recreation, so full plate, steel weapons, wailing on each other, never an injury. The two, I used to rock climbing, gun shooting, all these dangerous things. The most, the worst injuries I have sustained were from kickball and ballroom dancing.
It's so cool. Now we've run into one conundrum of yours. Yeah. Ah. And that the blue paint finally decided to quit working. And it still <laughs> needed to get a little extra coat. That looks but, cool, though. I like that. Well, all right, then. Then never mind. Recording for five hours, twenty three minutes, and thirty six seconds. This, it's been recording for five hours, forty two minutes, and fifty three seconds. Definitely gonna have to have you send me the videos that you guys are taking. So. <laughs> we caught you with the red pie. <laughs> Don't shoot the head. There's a bullet right there. I'm not. 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 I'm <laughs> not, not too close, Ash. That probably hurt. <laughs> That's not very skilled, sis. They shot me in the head. That was me. Yeah, that was pretty amazing! I don't trust you, punk anymore. Oh, shoot! That hit my gun! <laughs> I'm out! Reloading! Woo! Oh, you missed! No! Oh, no! 
You ditched your other gun? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not! He just reloaded. He just reloaded. Go get the ammo, Shane. It's all over by the tree. Look at No, he just said he's out. Run! No! He's trying to stop what He's out of bullets. That was quite definitely one of the most enjoyable nerf events I've been involved in in a very long time. I would like to thank Sparky Santos for providing the blasters and the idea, and I would like to thank uh, Lucas and Shane and Ashlyn for being involved and for their parents for bringing them along and for everybody being so wonderful. Uh, the blasters turned out beautiful and... Uh, so much fun was had, uh, many silly conversations and great ideas shared back and forth, great uh, battles had afterwards, um, and it was just a wonderful, wonderful event. And then, two days later, um, I got contacted by um, one of the folks, and they had left presents on my doorstep, which is awesome. So I thought I would open the presents and uh, show it in the video as well, just to stay in the spirit of it all. So, what have they sent me? Tissue paper. Lots of tissue paper. Oh! <laughs> they got me replacement uh, spray paints. Metallic aluminum. Oh, yes. Cranberry. That is a beautiful deep red. And uh, green and blue, because they use some green and some blue. But these are all very uh, primary-ish colors, which are going to be great for probably commissions in the future. This I will probably end up using on my own stuff, because that is very nice. And I definitely used the deep blue on a couple of builds, so that is fabulous. Um, oh, there's a note. Woo. Mustache, mustache. 
Dear Captain, thank you for modifying Nerf guns with us. I really like my two rebel guns. Merry Christmas, and uh, uh, may the new year bring luck, Ashlyn. Uh, P.S. I pummeled, <laughs> beat my brother in uh, three rounds of Nerf War with the semi-auto rebel gun. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much for the fantastic day. I really enjoyed the Nerf Blaster. Sincerely, Shane. That is fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. It says there's, there's an assorted chocolate sticker on it. It is C's Famous Old Time Candies. <laughs> oh, it smells amazing. Oh, ho, 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 look at this. A variety pack of candies. I love it. I'm going to start with what looks like chocolate covered almonds because those are, in fact, one of my favorites. Yum. That is indeed what it is. <laughs> Skittles! Yes! My death star is running a little low again. That's fantastic. Ooh. I don't know what these are, but they quite definitely look homemade and absolutely delicious. Are they chocolate covered Ritz crackers? Is that what we have on here? Chocolate covered Ritz crackers with peanut butter. Mmm. This is amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is awesome. I have to make these myself someday. They're delicious. No. It never ends. There's just more. Oh. More homemade candy. Cookies. I have no idea. Still working on this one. I'll definitely have to try one of those. Oh. 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 What is it? It is a goblet. A packet of double chocolate cocoa mix. It is a Captain Phasma mug. Tankard goblet looking thing. <laughs> that is pretty fantastic. <laughs> the whole bottle. Hot chocolate. I shall have to have some hot chocolate soon then. Because that is amazing. And, the last but not least, we have a tin of more cookies! So many cookies. These look like sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies. These look like, oh, fudge! They gave me fudge! They're the best people ever. And, I have no idea. That is fantastic. There is nothing as good as homemade cookies around the Christmas time, so bags and bags of them. You people are amazing. Thank you so much for being involved in this. Um, Ashlyn, don't forget, when you turn 10, we're going to upgrade the motors in your blaster. I look forward to that. So. Thank you so much for the snacks. Thank you for the spray paint, for the mug, for all of it. Thank you for being involved. Thank you for being awesome. And thank you for watching.